not all street art is great art. What we try to do is aspire to superb by exposing people more and more and more to, to exceptional, they, they will see the difference. I truly believe it. I began the Windward Walls in, uh, in 2009 uh, with a collaborator, Jeffrey Deitch, uh, who was then a, uh, a really renowned gallerist and, and aficionado in street art. I had this idea to create an international street art museum in uh, what was a parking lot, uh, a bunch of warehouse buildings, uh, loading docks, and uh, just uh, white box buildings, uh, nondescript, in the middle of a warehouse district. Uh, together, we created uh, the first phase of Windward Walls, and with Jeffrey's connections into the street art world to the highest level, we were able to attract at least a dozen of uh, the legends of the, of the street art world, past and present. Well, Wynwood, Wynwood is, a, is a neighborhood uh, that had a lot of helter-skelter street art. Uh, but I believed that if I put together the best of the, of the genre, uh, I appreciated it as fine art. And if I presented it that way, others would as well. There are no barriers. There's no barrier of entry. It's not a museum, so that there's no uh, sense of hierarchy or elitism. There's, you don't have to know anything about, the, about art. All you have to do is come here and experience it and see how it affects you. Miamians especially um, are feeling a sense of deep pride that this is theirs, that this is a new destination. This is not just about sun and sand and beach. This is a city, now the city is getting deeper it's, and, and cities deepen, great cities, international sophisticated cities, deepen with their sense of culture. Art Basel was a key issue in making that, when I was chairman of the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau, we made the deal with Art Basel. We're really, we're really delighted that uh, we partnered with them, they partnered with us and it's been a wonderful marriage and I hope it goes on forever.